Well, Alex's lead is fine. This is, I think, it, we think it's a 93 Kodiak. It's got a 400 engine. It's, uh, it's, a rough, it's a little rough, as you can see. But it's got, you know, the drive shafts. It's got the transmissions. It's got a starter. It's got the engine. The carb looks original, but it looks like it's missing a, a cap cover. I don't know how we'll do, deal with that, but uh, we bought it just for a parts vehicle, but we might have a nice little project to do some cool stuff with. It's rough, but, you know, we paid $200 for it just for parts, you know. You, uh, you can uh, make some decent money uh, selling parts on eBay, but some people just want to get the stuff. It's hard to come by. It's not even about money. This uh, odometer goes for 80 bucks, you know, and sometimes these uh, these uh, master cylinders go for a decent amount. These shifters, this is like 100 bucks for an original. So, I mean, I could part this out and make money. See, it's a 400, but I don't want to. I just want it for parts, and, you know, maybe we want a nice little project. It's a little rough in there, and I think a lot of the wiring... We'd have to redo some of the wiring. I think some people just like yanked shit right out of it. Because they like the CDIs on these. But, uh, you know, it's got the oil cooler. You know, muffler. Well, not the muffler, but the uh, manifold exhaust. You know, I mean, all in all, decent parts vehicle. Rims. The tires are bad. They got flats, but I got some spare tires. I'll weld up some some of these bull bars on them. But man, all right, I'm gonna post it and see uh, what the group thinks uh, if I got ripped off or not. But I, I mean, a solid 400 engine. It's got to go for a couple hundred dollars no matter what. So if something goes on my 400 over here, I could probably swap it out. This is a newer one though. And this is a 350 and I took the 450 up up north. Had fun with it. I picked this bad boy up, clean just washed it all up. 300 bucks, can't go wrong. I just cut the lawn. Cut the lawn for fun and you know, the lawn looks like hell, but I just wanted to try it out. Oh, the daffodils are coming up. Yeah, cut the lawn and the neighbor's lawn just for fun, just to test it out, and it runs. So uh, it'll be it'll be for the properties up north, you know. Starts here. I'll give you a little a little sound of it starting. They got a brake on. I right, got the, the throttle up a bit. Here we go. Oh. Of course, don't, don't want to start now. There we go. That's what happens when you wash the damn thing. There we go. Probably got a little water in that thing. 19 horse. Freaking sweat. I guess it's a twin. It has two pistons. A couple one cuts in uh and I'm ahead of the game there with this thing for 300 bucks. But we got like six properties up north and I don't want to be cutting lawns, pushing lawns, lawn boards. This bad boy flies. Anyway. Oh the redneck garage. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>